Today, we're going to make the world's simplest souffle. This is not the world's best souffle, the world's tastiest, the world's fastest. This is the world's simplest. And what goes into the world's simplest souffle is one egg. And that's it. And we'll have a souffle dish or a ramekin. So let's, let's start. We're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. And we're going to take our ramekin. Now, if we were making a more advanced souffle, we would take and we would put butter on the interior or non-dairy uh, margarine. And then we would coat with either flour or sugar or... Uh, whatever else you have, cheese possibly, that you want to uh, make the surface rough. And that is to help the egg climb uh, out of the top. And uh, I have yet to actually see climbing happen. I, I do know that when I don't uh, butter properly, I wind up with uh, some sticking, but uh, it doesn't seem to influence the climbing. So we're not going to do that here because with the world's simplest souffle, just an egg. So we've got our souffle dish, we've got a small bowl, and we've got a big bowl. We're going to take our, our uh, egg and separate the yolk from the white. The white's going to go in the big bowl, the yolk's going to go in the small bowl. have it. Okay, got this separated. And now we're going to first address the yolk. The yolk is where the flavor is. If this were a, a more advanced souffle, we would put salt, pepper, uh, we could put spices, we could put egg, we could put lemon juice, uh, we could put lots of things in it. In this case, we're just going to have a yolk. Um, what you find is that the important thing about a souffle is to have a cor correct, uh, uh, the correct consistency. And the consistency is just of, a, of a plain yolk it is actually pretty good once you get it uh, mixed up. And that's about the right consistency for the yolk mixture. Now. If, for example, you were making a sweet souffle and you put in lemon juice and sugar, uh, then you would look at the consistency and if it were different from this, which it probably would be, you would either add water or add flour to uh, thicken it until you get this kind of gooey, runny, yolk consistency. Now, the white. The white we're going to beat until we have uh, soft peaks. A whisk. Uh, I could use uh, an electric for this, but uh, uh, basically we're going to just beat this to soft peaks. Uh, sometimes, or some people, and I, I do too, find it uh, helpful to put a little bit of uh, maybe a half a teaspoon of vinegar uh, in the, the white to help it firm up. Uh, if you're making a sweet souffle, you can also put in a couple uh, tablespoons of sugar. Uh, after you've gotten already uh, some of the whipping done, and that will also give you a, a nice uh, satiny uh, peaks. But for the world's simple souffle, we're just going to whip it. There we are. So now we take and we want to combine our yolks with our whites. Uh, we're going to do that in two stages. First stage, we're going to take about a third of these whites out. Uh, between a third and a half out and put them in the yolk and 
we're going to stir those together to get a, a kind of frothy yellow. It's a nice, happy mixture. The next, we're going to take and combine those with the whites and fold them together until they're just barely combined. Okay, so now we've got these folded together. We're gonna pour it into our ramekin. Like so, and any second now our oven will be up to 350 and we can put it in at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 11 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 11 minutes. 11 minutes, starting now. Alexa, dismiss. Now that, that is a souffle. Look at that, it's got nice browning, great, great uh, climb. Open this up. Oh, look at that. Interior is perfect. That is the world's simplest souffle. Now, if we had taken, it's deflating now, uh, try this, mm, great. Now, if we'd taken and we had lined the souffle dish with uh, with flour, uh, it would have climbed, uh, and certainly a little salt and pepper would have been uh, nice. But look, look at this when it cooks down. This is how it uh, deflates as you start to to eat it. Eat it. Uh, now, the fact that it deflates so fast that also is because it's just egg. As I said, uh, if all you have is an egg, you can make a souffle. This is the world's simplest souffle, and uh, we can build on this in following videos. Thank you for your time.